section C problem one. This is a straight gear rack. Let's go to SolidWorks. I start with the sketch on the top plane. The center line. I'm making the circles on the two edges first. Be sixteen, and the inner one will be seven point five. And this distance will be 164 divided by 2. Now we can make a line here. Select everything and mirror about this line. Now go to extrude. Extrude from the mid plane because of the symmetry. 20. Now go to this plane, take the center rectangle, this line will be 12, go to extrude, then do extrude up to surface and the surface, and then select the direction 2, again extrude up to surface and the surface. Is done now. I'm going to go to the front plane to create the tilt profile. You can first make a center line, sketch a profile like this, give the dimensions. This angle will be 20 as it is half the angle. This length will be 2.5 This will be 1 which is half of 2 and Distance from this point to this edge is given as 18 This is done, now we can select all of this and mirror this is the profile for one tooth and we can make this line here this distance is given as 6 now what we need to do is we need to copy this again and again for 24 teeth so we can go to the linear sketch pattern let's uh, select all of these that we need to pattern go to linear sketch pattern Flip the direction, the distance between each uh, teeth that is the pitch would be 6 and the number of teeth that we need is 24. This here is the preview, seems right, so wind up, ok. So this is complete, now to complete the sketch, to create a close sketch, what we can do is we can add these lines all the way up to here now the sketch profile is complete so we can go to extrude mid plane and this would be 16 ok so the tooth profile is ready everything is ready now add the material this galvanized steel Let's go to evaluate and mass properties. 300.19. Let's check the answer. 319. So the answer is correct. This was the first question. Next question in the next video. Thank you.